All right, what's up, everybody? I'm back. I have a very special guest with me. We have MPAP. MPAP, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How are you, Sinister? I am doing very well, man. I'm super excited because you made this task that I have not seen yet, so I have no idea what is going to happen right now. Um, but I know some crazy things are going to happen, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, I guess, can you, can you talk a little bit about, first of all, what is PAL? I think some of our viewers may not know what PAL is, so if you could just explain that really quickly, let's start there. Right, so in some regions of the world, I think they use a different sort of electrical system, and like Australia and Europe, we use, um, there's a different frequency to the electricity or something, so they have to convert old consoles to this frequency, which is 50 hertz instead of 60. So the game runs at 50 frames per second instead of 60. And that leads, when they made the game, they, when they converted it, it led to um, interesting results in the way mechanics are. And that's for many games, not just Punch-Out. Okay. So there's, so there's actual differences in the gameplay in what is known as NTSC, which is usually in American regions and Japanese regions versus PAL, which is typically in European regions, right? Okay, excellent. So we got that down, guys. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna ask you to explain is what is a tool-assisted speedrun or, or a TAS, as it is called? Uh, tool-assisted speedrun is um, when someone plays the game with save states or even just frame by frame and they can do the inputs they want to on each frame and have a look at the, um, the RAM values at the same time. Essentially, That's it. Simple as that, right? So, uh, is it safe to say that the things that you might see in a task would not be possible for humans to do? Yeah, I would say so, or extremely, extremely difficult okay. for a human to do. All right, all right. So, yeah, I, I would agree with that. There are some instances where we've seen stuff in tasks and people have figured out a way to apply it in real time, but there's definitely instances where it's like, nope, that's never going to be done. Um, so anyhow, yeah, all right, thanks for those quick introductions. And then finally, I want you to just um, kind of introduce yourself in terms of uh, your role kind of within Punch-Out. You know, you're a very accomplished uh, Punch-Out player, but maybe you could just kind of uh, go over that real quick. So I started playing in uh, 2016, I believe, playing Fred's cool Punch-Out 2 Turbo, which is the wrong <laughs> Oh. So yeah, I went the easy right now. Wow, little, really little known fact. We're, we're getting some fun facts here, guys. I didn't know that one. And then, uh, after that, I did learn Mike Tyson's punch and I played on emulator for about a year. And then I got console and my time dropped really quickly after that. And yeah, I, I focused mainly on the single segment and high score, doing all the IELTS in high score um, and the single segment high score. Some blindfolded uh, a couple of years ago as well. And if I'm not mistaken, those latter two categories you just talked about, high score and blindfolded, you have all the records in those categories, right? That's correct, yes. Clean Except sweet. Not, not blindfold Tyson. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I have not been able to beat him in round one. But the, but the full run you, you have, the full the yes, single, seg single segment run you have. Um, correct. Okay, excellent. And then, so you did eventually overcome your uh, your Tyson phobia. And w what is your Tyson IL time now? Uh, it's at two oh six, and if you work out the decimals, it's a point zero zero. Ooh, okay. That's that's really low, guys. Uh, for those of you that have fought Tyson, yeah, beating him at two oh six, uh, not gonna see that too often, unless your name is summoning salt, I guess. But outside of that, yeah, two oh six. Not too many people have that time. All right, great. Uh, thank you for that introduction. So what we're going to do here today, guys, is we are going to show the NTSC task, which is that's that's again the American in, in America uh, you would play on NTSC or in, or in Japan um, that's what you would play on, and that's typically what most people are going to play on. Um, this task is by McHazard, the legend. He's found many, many, many strats. Uh, but right away, let's just notice that the time. This is the in-game time, by the way, for the NTSC task is 
The time of your task, MPAP, is uh, 11, 12.05. How did, yep. how, I guess we're gonna find out how you did that, but if you could, if you could say without giving away too much uh, how you did this magic, what would you say? Uh, the game works different. That's, <laughs> that's the big thing, is the game okay. works different. All right, so, game works yeah. different, guys. Game, are you guys ready to see how the game works different? We're about, we're about to show you. So I'm gonna go through each of these fights. Remember, I haven't seen the PAL version. And then MPAP is going to explain the madness. So let's start out first here. Um, one, one, one other oh, thing I wanna mention is- Go for it. There's, um, on NTSC, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and Punch-Out with Mr. Dream are the, essentially the same game. But on PAL, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and Punch-Out with Mr. Dream are different games. There's oh. like three versions of the game, essentially. Interesting. Um, and Mike Tyson's punch out on PAL is slower than this than Mr. Dream on PAL. I see. So that is why you have elected to do your task on the Mr. Dream version, because it's actually more optimized to do so. Right. All right. Okay, that's a, that's a good piece of information. I'm glad you cleared that up before we got to the end and somebody was like, wait, where's Tyson? Uh okay, cool. So that being said, uh, we are going to see uh, the Tyson on the NTSC version, which is by McHazard. So let's start out. We're going to take a look at Glass Joe. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen this fight before, but you know, can't hurt, right? We may as well see what we're up against. Got to have something. We have to have a point of reference for comparison. So again, this is by McHazard. Uh, he did give permission to show this, by the way. I did, I did speak to him. Uh, before we did this and he said it was absolutely fine to show it so here's glass Joe he's gonna hit him a bunch of times in fact you got to hit him at least 20 times to get a star which believe it or not is possible even in real time and then you gotta unload that star two beeps 42 all right so that's cool you know you got a nice swag with the star and everything um, but everybody's got a 42 in, in, in punch out, right? I mean, this is this is nothing uh, ground bake breaking, you know. Every everybody at home is like, hey, yeah, yeah, I did. I got 42 flat as well. Um, okay, so 42 flat. So let's check out the PAL version and see uh, see what kind of thing is going to be done over here. I'm very curious. Glass Joe, he's 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 ready once again. The hardest fight in the game. Hardest fight in the game, guys. We're not starting out easy here now. Oh, okay. Yeah, wait a second. A bit, a bit sadder. That's just pal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we're wasting our hearts here, guys. I have a feeling something's gonna happen. Okay. Oh. All right. And down on 41. Okay. Now down on 41 is also possible on NTSC, but he gets up. It doesn't appear. Okay. Glass Joe didn't get up, guys. I think we have a minor victory on our hands already. Glass Joe in sub 42 on PAL. There it is. 41.97. MPAP, uh, could you could you walk the viewers through that real quick? They've probably never seen a 41, even though it has been around for a while, to be fair. But uh, a lot of people probably have yeah. never seen 41 on Glass Joe, and they're just like, wait, what happened now? Um, so what happened was I wasted all my hearts to make Joe book sooner. Because when you go pink, his pattern is just to keep throwing hooks. And when you become unpink, he stops. Um, and I dodged the hook really tired to get rapid punches. Um, I punch him in the face once and then cancel like the rest of my the stun punches I could do with a gut punch which he blocks and you can do this all before 40 seconds and when you do this um, the fact that you have rapid punches kind of gets stored in the game ah. and remember, when you punch him next it's kind of how like the clock stop glitch works but right. um, I, so I do a face punch right when he backs up and then he comes forward and I face punch and it's actually a rapid punch that comes out. Right. So I hit the fourth frame, the first frame on the, it's still a four frame window to knock him down, but it ends up being a 41.97. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So yeah, storing those rapid punches 
is uh is something that you know it's not too useful in a lot of situations outside of that clock stop that you mentioned but this just to be clear everybody that's watching this is not a clock stop mpap did not use the uh the clock stop in this instance he was just storing the rapid punches do i have that right yes that's right okay um Ah. The fact, yeah, so it would, I think it would be possible, but you just can't do it before 40 seconds. Okay. And, and just real quick for, for the viewers, uh, so the reason you can waste the hearts faster on PAL is? Uh, well, your punches are slower, but the clock is even slower. <laughs> okay, so, so it's, the, it's because so the exactly. clock is running yeah. more slowly than what you would normally expect. Excellent. All right, I'm ready to move on. We're going to check out Von Kaiser. He's up next. We're going to see what McHazard had in store for old Von Kaiser. I think he's probably going to give him a pretty good beatdown. What, what do you think? I think Empath's seen this one before. He's, he's probably bored by this fight. <laughs> I just study McHazard's text a lot to work out what he Okay. Does. All right, so we got we got him down on 20, which is pretty fast. So you, I don't know if any humans actually got him down on 20. Maybe uh, that's happened. I can't, yeah, we have the yeah. male strat gets him, can get him down on 20. Okay. Play perfect. Okay, but has anybody tied this pass? Yes, they ran into Silver and Zealot. Both of them. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we have we have two people that have been able to do this in real time. 35.48, I believe. 6-1, my bad, my bad. I, I I got a little too excited there. All right, so a very good fight there by McHazard. Uh, let's see what MPAP had in store for uh, for the, the German steel machine. And remember, guys, this is the first time I'm seeing this, too, so I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen in this version here. Looks like we're starting out pretty similar, though. On Kaiser. Guard manipulation. And down at 20, okay, so pretty much the same deal here. Not a whole lot of room to work with variations in this fight. I wouldn't expect a whole lot of craziness, but okay, 27, though <laughs> the clock is really slowed down. <laughs> oh man. All right, clock. I think we're gonna have a, a, a faster time. Oh yeah, look at that, 34. 34 on pal how about it okay okay so is there a particular reason mpap that the clock was running a little bit more slowly in that in that fight uh, or was that the, just the normal speed i think that's just how pal is it just it runs slower also i think uh because when you land a star punch the clock kind of stops for a right bit. right 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 that effect is Okay, that's what I was wondering. I felt like the clock was staying still for a little bit longer in a few spots, like when you were getting a star or when you were landing a star. Yeah. So, I okay. Think that's what's happening. To um, totally aside makes from that, sense. It's actually the exact same strap as McHazard's. Um, I think on the sixth punch of the fight, or the seventh punch, McHazard delays by one frame to intercept um, one of Kaiser's jabs, um, ah. which is a three and 16 punch. And I also do that actually delay three or four frames but it still ends up being faster okay okay so slight 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 differences that only uh yeah. only somebody doing a task would probably even have to think about or realize but you're two for two so far mpap both of your fights have been faster it would i would have guessed i would have been like oh well i mean i knew about glass show to be fair but for von kaiser i was like i don't know how he's gonna get faster than that so um we're off to a pretty interesting start man i'm liking this on to the title bout, we got uh, Piston Honda coming up here, and in the NTSC version, this is a really nice fight, I, I love this fight. I mean, all of these fights are really fun to watch in, in TAS, to be honest. When, when you say so, Empath, it's pretty entertaining. Yeah, it is. And you can see right away that the, the punches just start flying. There's, there's no need to gutter this guy, the punches can go straight to the face, which those deal more damage. Uh, down on 22, my goodness. That's, uh, I don't know if anybody's been able to do that in real time. No, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
this is the most confusing part in the tassets. Um, this tunnel is the most strange patterns. They're not even really patterns, they're just <laughs> under this kind of thing. I don't even understand well, it myself. We, we, we do maybe can't it explain it. I mean that's why we say he goes Skynet, right? He's he's the yeah. he's the one fighter that's self-aware, guys. So we got a 36.97. And uh I mean I'm I'm guessing that just okay, so based on what I've seen so far, my guess is that the same thing's gonna apply here. There's a lot of star gets and star usages in this fight. So I'm thinking that's gonna slow down the clock on enough of these cycles that uh we're gonna see a faster time. But you never know. There, there could be some nonsense. So, so I'm, I'm excited. Let's, let's see what happens. All right, straight to the face, straight to the face, liking it. Unload those stars. A little bit more face action. And 21. Okay, so once again, we're getting that slightly faster phase, even though it's a similar strategy, if not exactly the same. This, of course, is just a buffered star. Nothing special there. But the time gain is real. The time gain is real, guys. That slower clock on PAL, in effect. And we are once again gonna see a faster time by a significant margin, 33. 33, so you're gaining about a second of phase, it looks like. Uh -huh. I think that effect is smaller in PAL as well, at least in the Mr. Dream version of PAL. Huh. So that's another potential save you can make. The top was not one you can make, it's just a thing about the game. Very interesting. That's All these little in uh, intricacies, man. Who would have known? All right, we're, we're going we're gonna to play both of these simultaneously so we can get through our cutscene. But so far, uh, minor circuit, MPAP has been victorious. Uh, three for three on gaining time. The strats haven't had to have too much variation other than Glass Joe. That was, you had to do a completely different strat, but... Uh, I did do a different strat compared to make Hazard on that one. It's the number one. Um, there was one strat that I was, I started with, and it was exactly the same until the last start function. For some reason, I could not get it to land. I felt like I was one frame too late, and it would never work. Huh. Um, so I came up with that one, um, which was the next fastest one I could do, which reorders some things, but if I could get McCazard's version to work, it would probably be eight frames faster. Interesting. Alright, so this is the standard stuff here. We got the Zallard buffer, or not even needing a buffer, but you know, this is the old Goldilocks, as they call it. We're gonna see a 14.97. I've gotten this, you've gotten this, everybody's gotten this. This is this is essentially Glass Joe Part 2. So now I'm curious to see if you're able to pull off uh, Glass Joe Part 2 <laughs> in PAL, which is, you know, essentially you shocked everybody with the 41. People are thinking, oh, he's going to get a 42. No, it's 41. Okay, let's check it out. I wonder if Don's dance is any slower. <laughs> His uppercut looks slow. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving in slow motion. All right, let's see. And it looks the same, but you get that little gain there. Okay. So the buffer strat still works. That's good to know if anybody. Yeah, that's a different buffer as well. It's two slow left dodges, and it's still oh, faster. Oh, that was two slow left dodges. Wow, I didn't even catch that. I'm not paying close enough attention. Okay, I have a feeling that, uh, you know, maybe maybe you're somehow going to gain an increment here. <laughs> I don't know why I think that, but that's my prediction. My prediction is 14.61. Nailed it! <laughs> All right, so what happened there? So you, you, you had to do two slow left dodges for the buffer. Yeah, I just wanted to I put the buffer in there to show it's a different buffer. Um, yeah, it's just 
those two slow left dodges, so it's actually slightly easier, I guess. Um, yeah, it was, it's kind of annoying to get rapid punches on him, actually, because that's still, you want to get the rapid punches right away. Like on, in the NTSC version, you don't want to dodge too early, because you start with slow punches, then you get rapid. Uh -huh. That happens as well on how the, you have to wait until the last. So let me check my notes. There's three frames right at the end, right before you get hit, where you get rapid punches immediately, and the first two of those three frames get a 0.61, and huh. the last frame gets you a 0.82. So no matter what, you're beating the, the NTSC version. <laughs> yeah. Even you if you were to go a little bit slow. All right, right. take take yeah, that NTSC. Right <laughs> All right, good stuff, good stuff. Let's uh, let's move it along here. We got King Hippo. Um, everybody's dream is that King Hippo would open his mouth three times in a row to start the fight. Of course, that rarely, rarely ever happens. I think people have calculated it to be around 5% of the time that this would happen if you were just to uh, play the game normally. Of course, in a task, you can, you can force these things to happen. So, nothing too exciting. This, this is, yeah, I hate to say it, but it's probably one of the few boring fights in the task for NTSC, just because you can't really, like, at least with Glass Joe, you can do the star punch. Um, you know, but anyways, 37.61, we all know it's coming. Humans are able to do this. That's I, good to see Hippo open. It is, it's, it is a nice change. I agree. So, uh, I'm going to assume that it's going to be the same deal here. I mean, I can't see how you'd re reasonably be able to speed up this fight other than just what the clock's going to give you. So I'm going to predict, uh, I'm going to predict a 37.25. That's my prediction. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Now you're using some an alternating gutter punching strat. This is strange. Okay, uh, normally using the right gut is slow. What the heck? 35? 30, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait, you just wait a second here, Empap. Now, uh, I'm gonna try to figure this out, but let's, let's get to the next screen first. 35. Uh, 35. Point zero zero. Uh, okay, so let, let's let's think this through, chat. So normally, when you punch King Hippo, uh, those gut shots deal the same amount of damage whether you use your left or your right hand. Uh, in many scenarios, using your right hand will deal more damage. So my only guess is that somehow that those right punches deal more damage. I wasn't paying attention to how many punches it took. Um, were those right gut punches dealing more damage, maybe, MPAP? They dealt the same amount of damage, and they take the same amount of time. What? That is except, just fraudulent. Except if you do your last gut punch with a right gut punch, then you lose a frame. Okay. <laughs> so, so I just did it alternating, just, just showed that were the same, that were the same time, so I was wow. just a bit fancy. So, so normally, with gut punches, normally on the NTSC version, we're talking about a two-frame difference between the left and the right. Isn't that it? Uh, yeah, in most scenarios. Sometimes it's one frame slower, I think, if you block or get a just whips entirely. But yeah, most of the time it's two frames slower. Okay, but somehow on PAL, Little Mac has uh, the same abilities with both hands. He's, he, he doesn't favor one or the other. It's it's a well known fact that he's a southpaw in the NTSC version, but I guess I guess over there in Europe they, they made him ambidextrous or something. I don't know. That's... <laughs> yeah. uh, there's one other thing is that if when you punch him when your feet open his mouth and you punch him, if you're late you can you only get what you get one less gut punch, and if you're early you get an extra gut punch. Um, and that window is five frames on NTSC, but on PAL it's only three frames. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, well, for everybody that was about to head over to PAL for all these nice advantages, uh, that three-frame window is probably not going to be any, any fun to play with, so <laughs> maybe rethink that choice. But that's, that's a, good, uh, a good thing to call out there, MPAP. Thank you for sharing that. Let's move on to Great Tiger. This is, uh, again, this is one of these fights that has been matched in real time by uh, many players. Many players have been able to 
match the task here because there is no RNG in this fight. This is strictly skill-based execution. Those punches are frame perfect initially uh, to get those stars. Normally you'll see people using a right hand gut punch, which again is slower. That's why you lose time. But here you can see that those punches come out just a little bit faster at the downside of being frame perfect where the gut punches are not. And then of course you get the double one count. That means star knockdown, star knockdown. That's 100%, by the way. Uh, Boxer gets up on a one count, Star will knock them down, provided that they can't dodge. There are certain situations, not for Great Tiger particularly, but uh, later on, Honda 2 could dodge sometimes. So 47.48 is going to be the time there. And uh, once again, I mean, I don't see a strategic advantage that MPAP's going to be able to pull out here, so I think it's just going to be the clock that's doing most of the work, but uh, I'm interested to see it anyway. I'm, 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 I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that somehow there could be some way of doing this fight differently, even though it has no RNG whatsoever. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh my God. Gray Tiger, did you forget how to block? What in the heck is going on, dude? 18 second knockdown? Oh my lord. It's over, guys. It said this was gonna be a this is gonna be a 24 or a 25. Because he gets up on one again. Oh man. Talk about a surprise. I did not see that coming at all. Oh man. Alright, we, we we you have some explaining to do here, MPAP, with this uh 24. This is almost half the time of the other fight, basically 50% lower. So yeah. How are you getting those punches through, dude? So I still promise that Tiger is very good at blocking. But if you hold up for exactly... So compared to where you, your inputs would be for a buffet base punch, uh -huh. if you hold up for exactly five frames, he just doesn't block. That's it. <laughs> wow. And frame perfect up releases, I suppose. Frame perfect up releases. Man, I mean, what were the what were the programmers thinking? Like, how, how 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 does that become a thing? Do you have any theories at all? Uh, no, I've got no idea why it's done. <laughs> I, I just I discovered it by accident, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> with with friends, because friends is kind of this game, but faster. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, no, that's okay. So that's that's interesting. I didn't know that that was something that transferred over here. And who is the corollary in that game? I forget who it is that would be this fight. Uh, Zelda. Ah, Princess, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, Princess uh, Zelda. This, that would be doable in, in runs if you're good enough. Um, wow. Yeah, it's just a frame perfect up release. I mean, the IL strat would probably end up, if someone wanted to run IELTS, that's probably what it would look like. It's all buffered, so there's nothing tricky about it. You okay. Don't delay anything. Man. So, okay, so this is the first fight where we've really seen a massive, massive time gain. And I was, I was, I was stunned by that. So I can't wait to see what happens here. Cause I mean, now we're gonna get into some of the fights that have a little more RNG, a little more nuance. Like now is where I think it'll really get exciting. So I hope, I hope I'm right about that. But let's, let's take a look. We got Bald Bull and uh, McHazard is up first. He is gonna do I believe the 18 second knockdown with one star. I can't, I can't even remember that the, there's been multiple iterations of the task, but this is, yes. This, oh, 18 with two, okay, I'm sorry. We have the 18 with two variation. Back on three. And yeah, let's get some stars right away and use them and yeah, you, you don't need to do anything, Bull. You can just kind of stand there and be a punching bag. That's cool. 39 seconds with three stars. Now, I've knocked Bull down for the second time at 39 seconds, but I did not have any, uh, three stars. I had pretty sure I had one or zero stars. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I was doing it wrong, apparently. And 52 seconds. Now, that is pretty darn low. And Pap, I'm I'm not sure what you're gonna pull out. I'm gonna try to make some predictions again, just like I did on Great Tiger, because I think it'll be funny for how wrong I am. So 50 52.82. Uh 
Um, yeah. All right. So with with Bull, I think his guard's a little weird. I know in the first thirty seconds, so I think you're going to be able to get maybe maybe some more punches in. I'm I'm thinking the clock might slow down a little bit for how many stars you're using in phase one. So maybe you're going to have like a you know a sixteen with two situation or something like that gives you a little bit of an edge you're maybe able to get one more star than mchazard was able to in phase two maybe you get a faster phase two and then phase three is you're loaded up just like i mean he had three stars in phase three and i'm assuming you will too so probably not gonna be able to do much in phase three so i'm gonna predict uh i'm gonna predict a 45 45 is my prediction ladies and gentlemen let's see what mpap has in store for us this time in the title bout I like that Bald Bull is just about that business, you know? He doesn't... He just walks out. He's ready to fight. He's got no fame, no dance, or anything like that. Nah. No show voting. He just wants to get right down to it. Which is really just... He wants to get right down to getting punched in the face, apparently. Okay, so this is 18 with 2, so I'm already wrong. Um, my hopes have, have, have declined a little bit for an improvement in this fight. I can't see how you'd be able to do it, but this is, oh, there's a gutter. We didn't see that. We didn't see that in MPAP's fight, did we? Okay, 38, 38, or in, in McHazard's fight. <laughs> so MPAP found that gutter somehow. He got that in there, 38, and there's not much in the way of improving this, I don't think. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, so still 51. So 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 one second time gain. Okay. Um so I so this one I vastly overestimated. A after seeing that great tiger, I think I got way too optimistic. <laughs> uh so you wanna break that one down? Uh yeah. So the fastest strat I can find is essentially exactly the same as McCaffrey's strat. Okay. Um, Uh -huh. He like brings his guard up. You can't actually do that on foul. The right gut punch is slower. Um, also, both me and McCazard end up our phase one on the last frame, so he won't do a rolling jab at the start of phase two, which uh -huh. saves time. Okay. Um, another thing is that, yes, even though my star punches are faster, I still have to wait for both longer to, for him to. So I can uh -huh. have my star punches. Mm. Even though things are going faster, it's pal, so I actually have to, every spot where I have to delay, I will lose time to make it, all the things work out. Mm. That's kind of two effects happening there, but it still ends up being faster than NTSC. Yeah, yeah, because you're having to do a reactive counter kind of deal instead of a proactive guard manipulation. Okay, I see, I see. That makes sense. All right. All right. Uh, I think one other thing is the 17 second knockdown doesn't even work on pal your star punch lands before his rolling jab even begins so that's just that's just no, no good no good at all <laughs> uh, i think you could i think even, and even if you do do delayed star punches so you would do the 17 second knockdown with delayed star punches into rolling jab you end up with the 16 with one uh not what you want you gotta get as many of those stars as you can for a phase bull gets big refills he uh he's hard to knock down so yeah i can i can see how that would make sense all right um before we before we move on to honda 2 did you did you have anything else on bull or are we good uh no we're good it's we're good it. okay so this is it guys this is the uh the final circuit here we're going into world circuit we got honda 2 uh this is a fight that's very near and dear to my heart because of course McHazard, when he originally uh, did the task, he discovered this and allowed me to be able to beat Matt Turk for the first time on Honda 2. And not only that, but beat the task in real time before he released his task. Um, I still remember the first time I saw this and he's doing these max damage uppercuts. And I was watching the replay and I was, you know, you're, when you're replaying something uh, via an emulator, it's impossible to cheat because the, it's just inputs. It's just putting in the inputs. And I had to watch it like three or four times to be like, 
is this real? Like, I don't understand. How is this? This isn't real. Um, my brain just could not comprehend the beatdown that McHazard had put forth. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you're able to do some of this stuff in real time. I don't know that anybody's, uh... Somebody, I, I, somebody saw it got... Did he get 9-7? He did. He matched the test. Oh, he did. Okay, great. So somebody saw it was able... I know he's stuck on 9-9. Nine, nine. I think him and Zaller were both stuck on 9-9 nine, nine for a while. Uh, so somebody saw it has somehow managed to, to match that. Uh, the question, though, is can MPAP beat it? So, okay, let's, 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 with what I know so far, uh, this is a very aggressive fight. You're able to do a lot of stuff when you want to do it, not, not, not necessarily having to wait too much, I think. So I'm thinking you're going to be able to win a little bit faster here. I'll be a little more conservative this time. I'll say 36. I'm going to say 36. Let's see what we got. So far, so good. This is this is this is where I'm hoping that something goes better. Phase two, come on, phase two. Thirty-four. All right, that that means uh, this is this is definitely going to be a, a lower time here. Thirty-seven. Okay, okay. So. The question is, was this just a uh, clock or were there actually some different punches? And sometimes it's hard to tell, like it, it, the fight looked very similar, but maybe you actually did throw some different punches and then uh, you gained two seconds. Yeah. The fight is very similar, actually. Um, the difference, the only difference really is that McCazard gets a 23 with zero in phase one and I get a 23 with one. Ah, okay. You had an extra star there. See, I didn't even catch that. Right. <laughs> uh, um, but I, I remember when I tasked it, I did task McCazard's version first to see what time that would get, and that gets a 38.48. The, he did the exact same strat. Um, I think what happens is that you can do a lot more on the PAL version with a, with a huge amount of time Honda gives you at the very start of phase one, where he just stands there. And that's how I was able to get the extra star. Okay. All right. Uh, extra star for the win. Another couple seconds to add here. This is pretty pretty much every single fight. Every single fight has been uh, a time save. So let's see if that trend continues. We got Soda up next. No randomness to worry about here, guys. Remember, this is a tool assisted speed run. You can manipulate the RNG to be whatever you want it to be. So McHazard is going to make sure he disposes of Soda as fast as possible, which is going to be uh, in quick 15 second uh, increments here. Maybe one of them will actually break sub 15, I can't remember. Yep, okay, that one was a 14. And one more time, just for the dream soda. There we go, 43, okay. Oh, let's let the, let the decimals come out here. Forty-three, four, eight. Okay, so this is one where I just I can't really see you being able to gain much time at all, just for the fact that you do have to wait, presumably, for uh, Soda to go into his uh, uppercuts, and that's you know maybe that's going to take longer uh, even. Um, so I'm going to say that uh, this will be, uh, let's go with a 42.97. I don't know. That's, that's, that's my random okay. guess. <laughs> okay. That's what I got. That's what I got, folks. I can't wait to be wrong. It's been much, much more entertaining when I've been wrong so far. Oh, okay. Uh, 14 off the bat. 
That's a good start. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. I guess, well, those right-hand gutters you said were a little faster on PAL, so maybe that's part of it. Uh, I think they're the same speed, um, despite the maybe it blocks it even better. Oh, if it's blocked, it's the same. Yeah, on, at least on this fight, it was the same. Okay, so 40, 40 seconds here, flat. Uh, is that just the, the standard PAL time gain, or was there anything fancy that you pulled off there that maybe maybe I didn't notice or the folks that watching? That is pretty much the standard PAL time gain. Um, it's basically the same strat all around. The only difference really is now you do the last star punch to knock him down and it intercepts either his jab or his hook, which is just timer based and it's always the same time. Uh huh. Uh, and Soda dodges. Soda's actually programmed to dodge the third star punch. Uh, so, but he, he doesn't dodge the third star punch on NTSC because he's beginning an attack. He's doing either a hook or his jab. Uh, on PAL, you, your star punch actually connects a little bit early, which dodge that third star punch so i actually have to delay my third star punch hmm. for the final phase by i think it was two or three frames and it has to land into a jab optimally the hook takes a little bit longer so that's another 50 percent you would have to win so um, so if not for that this could have maybe even been a 39 right interesting okay well still faster still gaining time on to bull two Bull 2 is a fun fight because this is one where it's like normally you're just like, okay, that's that. No, that doesn't happen. This is going to just be punch, 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 punch. Hey, look at that. My name is Bald Bull 2. I don't block. This is uh, Summoning Salt's dream right here. Unfortunately, uh, all, all Bull 2 does is block when, uh, when it comes to Salt's attempts. But okay, so pretty standard. This, is, this has been how the task has been for a good while. You're just basically able to get punches through his guard in certain situations. I don't know, you can maybe elaborate further on that impact, but... Yeah, these are 1 in 16 base punches there. Not the finest to go for ever. <laughs> so it just has to do with the RAM values, and if there's a certain value, that punch is going to go through, right? Yep. And being able to manipulate those RAM values is the key. And all of a sudden, you're able to get a 108 on Ball Bull 2. Not something that anybody's ever going to be able to match. Unless there is some massive breakthrough in this fight. I I know. Even though the odds for the TAS are like 1 in 4 billion for that fight, or 1 in 4 quadrillion or something, something silly like that. Uh, something re like a reasonable strat, which is maybe like only 1 in 2,000 or 4,000 can get a 1. <laughs> Dave's gonna go for it. Well, yeah, I mean that that's the thing with these tool assisted strats is that some of them are viable, you know, some of them people have matched and then other ones it's just like, okay, no, that's not happening. Alright, um that fight is so straightforward with just getting as many stars and unloading as many stars. I don't see how you can improve other than just the PAL, you know, the standard uh frame gains that you're getting from pal so i'm gonna say it's again gonna be like maybe i don't know 104 105 something like that but uh i hope you found some innovations i'm not able to think of any and uh i guess we're all gonna find out together here because any anybody that's just joining i have not watched this task by mpap again of the pal version of this game oh wait a second wait a second Oh, we got some star punches going off into the rolling jabs here. All right, okay, that I did not expect. That I did not expect. Now, nine count is always going to happen. This is bull two, after all. Now, the rolling jabs are another random factor here, but MPAP, of course, is able to force them. So this is 
Looking like it's gonna be a, a nice little time save then. Star punches into rolling jabs. See, I, I mean, it blows my mind. It makes me jealous of like, why can't this be possible on NTSC? All right, a couple more stars, a couple more star punches. Well, one more star punch anyway. 104, okay, at least I was close. At least I was close in my guess this time. I think I said 105. 104 is the final time. So that one actually was with some innovation. So MPAP, if you could uh, enlighten us. Uh, yeah, so those star punches to rolling jabs are frame perfect. Um, they do not work on NTSC at all. And again, the closest you can get is a double hit, which you both end up getting hit and bull doesn't take any damage. Right. Interesting. Well, so I kind of mitigated that with the, the rolling jab intercepts. That, star punch. that was pretty cool. And then, those do 17 damage. And the normal star punches probably do a bit more, yeah. but getting. Yeah, the max damage deals 23. Right. But I'm guessing that if you're not doing those star punches, you're, you're, at, you're waiting and dodging, which is going to be slower. Or even if you were to do three face punches, that's only going to deal 15 instead of 17. So you're. You're picking up time one way or another, it seems. Right. All right, good, good stuff. That was a nice, a nice little surprise there. I love seeing these fights where it's like, okay, that's that's something new. Um, so we'll move on then to Don Two. And Don Two, of course, again, a super, super random fight. You need to get all the lucky stars, which can be manipulated in the tool assisted speed run. So McHazard is going to manipulate every star in the book and put them to good use. Press select before the fight to uh, reduce the health to half. That actually unlocks a refill in phase three that is only 40 HP. And uh, of course you can manipulate that refill as well and get a very fast phase three knockdown of just using two stars. So uh, all kinds of stuff going on in this fight. It's a pretty cool one. But again, uh, this is stuff that would just never happen. Uh, the eight count is needed there in order to manipulate the refill, I believe. And in, in, in tasks, they generally will try to go for the lowest count that you can still get what you need. Uh, this will be another eight yeah. count. Can we get low refill on the eight count? Yeah, so there we go. So this is gonna be another, this is gonna be the 40 refill, which is just gonna be Star Punch and Star Punch. Good night. gonna have I believe a, a, a 58 is it flat or 0.25 I can't remember 58 flat okay all right so uh predictions I think that there's oh gosh I don't I can't see it's like if it's something new or if it's just the cat strap but just gonna be plastic because it's power time so. right no that that's yeah that's what it is and I'm like I'm trying to envision what could be new here like what could you possibly pull out of the hat I mean unless you're doing another intercept situation but those deal so much less damage than the max damage star punches uh there's nowhere else you can really get a star I mean unless you're somehow able to get around this guy's guard like you did on great tiger i just can't see a huge time save i'm, I'm gonna say it's just the normal pal gain i'm gonna say uh 56. that's what we're going okay. with that is my guess so let's see let's see what we got so again those pal differences mainly is the, the clock runs a little bit slower there and Diva D is just subscribed for six months in a row. Thank you so much. All right, so far we're just, we're getting stars. We're using stars. We're getting stars. We're using stars. These are the strats. These are the strats. Getting that eight count again, like you mentioned, that's just to manipulate the refill. Also press select before the fight because otherwise you can't get the lottery. Right, right, right. Okay. 
So this will be a, yeah, this will be just a little bit faster because I know that this this phase is again just going to be the two star punches. So not not a crazy ton of innovation, but we have uh, we are going to gain a little bit of time. There it is, 55. That's what we want to see. Chipping away, chipping away. Now this now this next fight coming up, I'm not going to lie. This is actually the whole reason that I even wanted to do this. I, I somehow, I can't remember how I saw this fight, but for whatever reason, um, I saw this fight and then I realized I was like, I should not watch any of the other fights. And I that's when I reached out to you and I was like, hey, can we do this thing? And you were like, yeah. And I was like, cool. Uh, and then, but there's a little, a little additional backstory because then you were like, you know what, if we're going to do this though, let me like make the, make a proper task. Like you, you were like, I have to make the task better. This is not good enough. Uh, so yeah, then you, you went and made some improvements. Open. And I knew there was time, more time saves. I just hadn't bothered to do them yet. Okay. So you, um, yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit more about that dark task. It's pretty much the same strat. There's, yeah, the only thing is instead of buffering the face punch into the jab, interesting stuff okay there's always some little tidbit man even in a fight that seems straightforward there's something so um okay this next fight here this is this is mr sandman uh this fight has an interesting history and this uh, it's it's a it's a rabbit hole to go down so i won't say the whole thing but i will say that um there are some limitations in this fight you're essentially wanting to manipulate sandman's pattern to get him to do the fastest uh, way of knocking him down, which is he does his triple uppercuts, you're able to get in a bunch of hits afterwards. Um, and then that's how you're gonna get the fastest knockout possible. So this is set, this is a standard 50 seconds. He's gonna do rolling jabs, there's nothing you can really do about that. And uh, yeah, then he's going to go into his hooks. At a minute 30, he's going to go into the triple uppercut. Of course, you're going to get a knockdown before that, 115. And once again, the select was used before the fight, so you could take an intentional knockdown, which is going to manipulate him into the triple uppercuts. So let's get in some punches here before 130. Here comes 130, all right. I'm gonna manipulate the fastest pattern there. And then you can see, this is where you look at his health. You're just draining his health, basically, with this. And there you go, 151. So again, you have that limitation that you have to wait until 159 to take your knockdown. 159 and one frame, to be precise. But this 151 allows you to get in just a little bit of extra damage before you take your knockdown. And then this is gonna allow for pretty darn fast time against Sandman. This is this is a fight where there's just there's not much you can do to innovate because um, the limitations of his behaviors. And there's no stars. You can't get stars until round three. So 216. Uh, I believe Zallard has a, a 216. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to find out what that is. I, I, Zallard might be in the chat to to clarify. I'm not sure. Um, anyhow, uh, all right. So I already know what's gonna happen in this fight. So I'm just not gonna say anything. We're just gonna play it. <laughs> all right, here we go, Mr. Sandman. Well, I, I don't see how you could possibly innovate any, anything, you know, given that what I just said, though. What in the world is this? <laughs> this is just the most amusing thing to me. Like, no, Sandman, no, you, you don't get to throw your punches. I'm sorry. I know you want to do rolling jabs right now, but you're not allowed. <laughs> rolling jabs are banned right now. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Somebody better remind him before it's too late. Nope, you know what? I think it's actually already too late. <laughs> All right, here's 50 seconds. I feel like something might change. Nope. I think it's just going to be nothing changes. Oh, okay, he finally re re remembered how to block one time. <laughs> oh, this is so fantastic. This is so fantastic. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's just so helpless, man. Like, everybody's childhood was ruined by this guy, and now he's just helpless. He's just, I can't block left-hand gut punches. Help. <laughs> oh, God. 122. 122. Sandman. You're done, son. Forget about it. 122.25. All right, MPAP, uh, why don't you tell the people what in the world they just saw? All right, so... So he was um, trying, but but you were just intercepting at any attempt that he had at uh, putting up a fight. Yeah, okay. and the few blocks, the two blocks you did see him do, that's because he was going to do a hook, and um, you can't really get a. You, there's no way to intercept the hook or cancel it. I couldn't find a way to do that. You still have to do the frame perfect up press uh, to keep his guard up for the next gut punch afterwards, though. So you still have to keep the. <laughs> okay, so not a real time strat here, but uh, no. but interestingly enough, there is something that you can do in real time, which is intercepting his uh, like if you if he blocks you. So say you threw a left gut, he blocks, he retaliates. You can actually beat his retaliation, right? Uh, yeah. You Right. Face jab, with right. A, with a jab, and if you just buffer a face punch, you just you beat him. You beat him. Yeah, you're just faster. Yours connects first. You're and just you can, faster. There's other like cheesy strategies you can do, but <laughs> it's <laughs> great. We don't, we, don't even have, we don't even have time for that. Yeah, we don't have time for that. But that's in real time. You can do some shenanigans against Sandman, just not what you saw MPAP do. I mean, it almost looked MPAP like it was like a game genie code where the opponent can't <laughs> block until you like let him block twice. That's basically what it looked like. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, that's where the big time save is. That is indeed the big time save. So that that's uh, that's a pretty hot one there, guys. Let's see. I don't know how we're going to top that, but um, who needs to? That was, that was like just that made my night. I already knew it was going to happen. I'm still like just laughing hysterically at seeing Sandman get pounded like that. It's just great. Uh, all right. Not Super really Macho, good. man. Oh, and Kinnison. Uh well yeah i would imagine i mean yeah. so so much frame perfect stuff you gotta do it's pretty tough now macho is another guy that looks like he lost the ability to block you know it's just like wait a second i thought macho knew how to block nope sure doesn't good old 21 second knockdown i love this fight this is one of the first videos I ever saw on the internet was a task of Mike Tyson's punch-out because I couldn't find any real speedruns. 
So this was the only thing that I found, and the Macho fight, it wasn't quite as fast as it is now, but it was still, like, ridiculously fast, and my mind was just forever blown by that fight. And other fights, but most notably the Macho fight, I was just so baffled. I was like, how is this real? But there it is, 43 seconds. It was probably like 45 or 46 when I first saw it. McHazard found some nice improvements along the way. And we get a 43.25. Okay, uh, let's see. How could you possibly top that? Um, you can't. There's no way. There's no way. I'm just going to say there's no way other than the, the standard PAL mini time gain of frames. Uh, there's no way. Prove me wrong. <laughs> I'd love to see it. No matter what, I know that we're in for a fun Sorry fight. Sorry about me being every NTSC time. Uh, well, it's yes. I cannot do it. Yes. That's, uh... That's true. So, let's see. Is there a way to do this faster? I mean, McHazard was just punching him at every opportunity. I don't feel like he delayed at all, so... And you're also not delaying at all. It's like, hey, macho. You can't block. What are you, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> and this looks to be... Ah, uh, is, that, is that the same? I think he... McHazard made it in 21. Yeah, he was. He was 21. He was 21. So you're a little bit faster there. That's the, the typical pal save. And then, yeah, it's not much because this is always going to be a scripted... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I saw something, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just hallucinating at this point because of all the madness that's happened. Whoa! 37! Once again, goes to show I have no idea what in the heck I'm talking about when it comes to this. Uh, 37. That is really, really good. And that final phase, he did not even get to throw his super spin punch at all. Uh, that's a big difference. So... I know that in, in uh, the NTSC version, there's no way to get around that. It seems like you have more than enough time if he were to do his long delay that you'd be able to get enough punches in to knock him down. But something always triggers him. Like even if he's on the, the long delay, he'll immediately switch to the fast delay as soon as you're ready to throw a star. So so what happened there, what happened there in PAL? That's what you need. Um, uh, yeah, because he has 48 health and you need 19 plus 19, which is the two max damage star punches there. Exactly five plus enough. Five is 10, that's 48 damage. Exactly enough. Wow. Well, that was great. That was uh, definitely better than and I expected. You and you can fit it all before he does the super spin on the longest delay, which you can't even do on the NTSC version, even if you could do it right handed this destroy. Right, right. It just won't. It just won't happen. It just won't happen. Yep. He's gonna throw that. He's gonna throw that super spin no matter what. Um, man. Okay. So yeah. Just just to give a little perspective too, guys. Like it. It might seem like that these are. Oh, you know, we're coming up with these time games. Whatever. That McHazard task is so ridiculously optimized that I'm just. It blows my mind every time when MPAP's able to find something. I know that these are two different versions of the game, but still. You're still having to like dig deep and figure out these really crazy random things that you found. So it's just, it's very amazing 
Um, I'm impressed so far. I'm impressed so far. We got one more fight left, guys. We got the dream fight, of course. Don't forget. Now it's going to be a little different because if you weren't here earlier, we mentioned that this uh, the, the NTSC task is played on the Mike Tyson's version. The PAL task is played on the Mr. Dream version, with, which MPAP explained is faster than the PAL version of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for some random reasons. But it is, it is indeed faster. So he played on the fastest version. This is a pretty standard fight. Um, and by that I mean, you know, there's, there's all you're doing here to optimize the fight is ducking. Uh, if you duck properly in certain instances, it'll be one frame faster than dodging. So that's what's going on there. And many of you probably watch. Go ahead. Uh, you see a couple of spots where Mikaz have dodged just because it's more optimal to do that. That duck, the duck animation does last longer. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and you see, you'll see summoning salt ducking when he's doing his IL attempts. He, of course, has a two-minute uh, time on Tyson, and, and maybe one day could could get the the sub two, but um, pretty rough road to get that. So, yeah, 123. And we're gonna get another perfect phase here. Just all these frame perfect punches. This is a task, so it's easy to land. You can't get any stars. There's nothing more you can really do to optimize. You have to wait and counter, wait and counter, wait and counter. There we go. We get Mac with the hands up. So there it is, 158 on Tyson. And now we're gonna get MPAP with his final fight. He is gonna be taken on, of course. Mr. Dream, a.k.a. Vanilla Ice. Uh, let's see if there's any possible way that you can gain time. I don't think so. The only hope would be, and this would be amazing if, if it was a thing, but the only hope would be is if there was some way that you could possibly manipulate his guard. Um, typically, okay, before the fight starts, typically Tyson's guard can't be manipulated until the third round in the NTSC version. And it's just too fast. You can't you can't uh, do anything. You can get him to bring his gloves up, but you're not going to get a punch through. So, given that this is it's a actually uh, two minutes in round two, his guard slows down. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. telling me I could gutter Tyson in uh, round two? Yeah, as long as it's after the two minute point. Wow, man, I am learning so much today. This is amazing. Uh, well, that's good to know. I'm I'm definitely gonna gutter him now just just to show him that i can um cool okay so so yeah so my prediction here is going to be that this will be uh just slightly faster given the the pal timer runs as it has this entire time you guys have seen there's just a little bit of time creep that you get from using that pal version but uh hope i'm wrong hope we see something crazy <laughs> but i know you can't get stars that that's for sure so it'd have to be some way of manipulating the guard All right, looks like pretty standard stuff here so far. Maybe a few more ducks though. Might be gaining some frames off these ducks. I haven't seen you actually dodge yet, so that's that's definitely a frame gainer. But it looks like 51, I believe that's the same as McHazard. So maybe this was a slightly faster 51. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out here. Yeah, those two spots where it's optimal dodge on the NTSC, the duck is optimal on PAL. Interesting. Alright, so this is 123. That was indeed the same as McHazard as well. And, uh, yeah. It looks like you're not even getting that slight benefit, and I guess that's because there's no star punches. I mean, we know that the star punches and the star gets take just a little bit longer, but without those, I guess that little time bonus is not really coming through as much. So we're gonna get. Oh no! It's a 158. <laughs> no! MPAP had, MPAP had gone 13 consecutive fights, gaining time, and then he gets to the end, and Mr. Dream does this. How could you, Mr. Dream? I blame Mr. Dream. <laughs> Oh, OK, 
Okay, so technically we have a time gain on our hands here, folks. I was wrong, I stand corrected. MPAP has done the unthinkable and gained time in uh, every single fight, all 14. 14 out of 14, from Glass Joe to Mr. Dream, uh, all time gains. And for anybody that's curious that asks, is there a difference between Tyson and Mr. Dream? No, there is not, they have the same AI. It's just a different sprite. That's all there is. So, um, wow. Yeah, that was impressive, man. So your task, 1112.05 on PAL. Um, I guess one other question that I forgot to ask you in the first place was what, what inspired you to even do this uh, PAL task to begin with? Um, I saw um, Zalot's uh, Von Kaiser when, back when I was playing an emulator, so 35.61. I was like, yeah, I'm never going to beat that. I'll just play on pal and beat it. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to be a bit of a smart ass about it. But uh, yeah, and then I was like, well, they, their leaderboards only allow, um, only allow NTSC time. So yeah, unfortunately, we can't. We're not using, unless we make separate leaderboards. But yeah, can't use the pal, pal versions to beat the NTSC times. Right. Um, right. But I decided to make a task because there is some interesting tech differences in tech that can be used absolutely we saw that showcased here today and uh i think i think people were pretty entertained by watching this i know i was i know i saw a lot of stuff that was really really awesome and just kind of like wait wait what how did that happen um and uh i guess how, how did you kind of like come up with some of these ideas i mean did you just like mess around in these fights and just find stuff uh, like there there's no guideline or guidepost for you to, to go by right um so the, the big the two big ones the sandman and tiger i actually found them in, when i was testing prince actually i didn't think i was testing them. i was playing them regularly and i found them and then i decided to test it and figure it out what exactly was happening and then i had some theories that prince cool punch out to two turbo is actually a PAL ROM hack that you apply to an NTSC ROM <laughs> and then when you, when you play it it's, it's essentially 50 FPS forced to be sped up to 60 FPS so it's like 17% faster or whatever um, so I actually found those two playing normally just messing around seeing what was possible and then I, I tasked friends first and then well it kind of confirmed my suspicions when the similar things occurred on when I tasked Man, all right. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you put this together, and I'm glad that you're willing to uh, come on my stream so that we could kind of showcase this for people. Um, I mean, I definitely, like I said, I had some moments where it was just like, what is even happening? <laughs> like, it was just crazy stuff going on. And, uh, you know, I, I know that um, you're still doing some punch out stuff, and people, you should definitely go and find MPAP. Uh, he's there in the chat. You can follow him, twitch.tv slash MPAP. And uh, if you want to link your YouTube channel as well, MPAP, go ahead and do that because uh, MPAP's been putting together a bunch of videos recently, a lot of high score videos for anybody that's interested in how that stuff works. Again, he has all those world records in uh, high score. So you want to check him out on Twitch and on uh, YouTube, and I, I believe that's it. Is there, there's, is there anywhere else people should be finding you, or is it just those two? Uh, no, that, that's it. That's it, folks. You're, you got your two spots, that's where you can find MPAP. Uh, or you can find him on the leaderboard. If you go on over to speedrun.com, you'll see uh, he's, he's got some, some pretty nice times over there on the leaderboard as well. So, um, yeah, man. And uh, PDT throwing down, thank you, man, 25 months. He said, he said, pal gloves up. <laughs> Showing respect for the pal version. All right, there's MPAP's YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead, follow him over there. Check out some of his high score videos. And then um, what are you, what can people accept, expect to see from you on stream in, uh, in the coming uh, weeks? Oh, currently I've been grinding. Don one high score is just the worst. It's like one in 683 and I've done like 2,000 attempts. Oof. That's not happening. So, <laughs> sounds brutal. So we're, we're trying to like decipher him in the 
Discord now trying to find RNG minutes because that fight is kind of a huge buffer. So it seems like there might be some hope, but maybe not. But I'm not sure. I don't know the maths behind it. But yeah, currently I'm just grinding out all the high score files, well, some, most of them anyways. And then I'm gearing up for a big single segment high score. From Ooh, gonna improve that even further. Okay. Yep. Uh, so one other question. Is there ever a chance in the future of you coming back to single segment speed runs of MTPO? Because, of course, you have a top time. I mean, you, you, you're you just behind uh, Salt and Zallard. Did yeah, you ever think about improving that? Moment, uh, I don't have any plans to improve that at the moment. Okay, no plans at the moment, but maybe one day, guys. Maybe... Maybe if I beat your time, will that bring you back, or, or is that not enough either? <laughs> it might just. I it might? Be motivated. Okay, yeah. but, but, but how am I going to get motivated to do that, man? That's, yeah, that's the <laughs> trouble. See, neither of us are motivated. Mean, somebody's going to have to come along and, 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 and find something. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to start beating us, so then, then we'll get motivated. <laughs> there we go. We'll, we'll have to drop far enough on the leaderboard that it's like, okay, we got we to gotta get back at this thing. All right. Um, any any closing thoughts before I let you go, Empath? Um, no, I don't have any actually. Thanks for having me on, mate. Yeah, thanks for Exciting thanks for coming stuff. on, man. I appreciate it. This was this was really fun. So um, so yeah, make sure you guys check out Empath on uh, on Twitch and YouTube. And uh, I'm gonna let you go and wrap up the stream. So thanks again, man. Take care.